In the distant steppes of Central Asia, a force arose that would shape the course of history. A land of vast open plains and harsh, unforgiving winters, Central Asia was home to the Mongols, a people of humble beginnings. Born into a world of nomadic tribes, they were molded by the very land they roamed. The Mongols were not just the children of the steppe, they were its very embodiment. Their lives, dictated by the seasons, were as volatile as the storms that swept across their homeland. Within this rugged landscape, the Mongols developed a culture as resilient as the land they occupied. Their tribal society was built on the principles of loyalty, courage, and above all, survival. They were a hardened people, disciplined by the harsh realities of their environment. Their strength lay not in numbers, but in their unity, their ability to endure and their exceptional horsemanship. Yet these tribes were disparate, scattered across the vast expanse of the steppe. They needed a unifying force, a leader who could harness their potential and guide them towards a common goal. That force emerged in the form of a man named Temujin. Temujin, a name that would soon be eclipsed by another, was born into a world of constant conflict. Through a series of alliances, betrayals and battles, he rose to prominence, demonstrating a keen ability to lead, strategize and inspire loyalty. His vision was one of unity, a single Mongol nation, a concept previously unimaginable to the fiercely independent tribes. Temujin's ambition was not without opposition, but his leadership was undeniably effective. He achieved what no one had before, uniting the warring tribes under a single banner. It was under this banner that he was proclaimed Genghis Khan, the universal ruler. Thus, under the leadership of Temujin, the disparate tribes of Mongolia began to unite, forming the seeds of the Mongol Empire. The stage was set for a transformation that would reverberate through the annals of history, forever etching the name of Genghis Khan into the chronicles of the greatest empires the world has ever known. Under the banner of Genghis Khan, the Mongols began their relentless expansion. This was no random rampage but a calculated strategy of conquest, fueled by the genius military mind of Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan was not merely a warlord, he was an innovator. He revolutionized warfare, employing tactics that were ahead of their time. He utilized the Mongols' mastery of horseback riding and archery to terrifying effect, creating a mobile and highly coordinated force that could strike swiftly and decisively. His soldiers were not just warriors, they were part of a well-oiled machine, each cog playing its role to devastating effect. He also implemented a policy of incorporating the defeated into his empire. Rather than annihilating conquered peoples, Genghis Khan offered them a place within the Mongol fold. This policy not only swelled the ranks of his army, but also enriched his empire with a diverse array of skills, cultures, and knowledge. One of his most significant conquests was the Khwarazm Empire, a vast and wealthy realm that stretched across much of Central Asia. Despite its formidable defenses, Genghis Khan's forces swept through its cities like a storm, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Yet even in this brutal conquest, Genghis Khan's policy of incorporation was evident. The skilled artisans, scientists and scholars of Khwarazm were spared and absorbed into the Mongol Empire, contributing to its cultural and intellectual wealth. Similarly, the Jin Dynasty in China fell under the might of the Mongol army. The Mongols' swift and brutal assault overwhelmed the Jin forces, leading to the dynasty's collapse. But again, Genghis Khan incorporated the survivors into his empire, bolstering his forces and gaining access to the advanced technologies and sophisticated administrative systems of the Chinese. By the time of his death, Genghis Khan had laid the groundwork for an empire that would stretch from the Pacific Ocean to the heart of Europe. His innovative strategies and policies of inclusion had created an unstoppable force that would continue to expand under his successors, shaping the course of world history. The death of Genghis Khan marked the beginning of a new era for the Mongol Empire. This was a time of transformation and expansion, led by a succession of formidable leaders, each with their own unique contributions to the Mongol legacy. Following Genghis Khan's demise his third son Ogade ascended to the throne. He was a capable ruler maintaining the momentum of the empire's expansion. Under his guidance the Mongols continued their westward advance sweeping across Central Asia and into Eastern Europe. The Mongols' military prowess was showcased in their victories such as the Battle of Mohi, where they vanquished the Hungarian and Croatian armies. After Ogede, the mantle of leadership passed to his son, Guyuk, and then to Monke Khan, Genghis Khan's grandson. Monke was a pivotal figure in the conquest of the Song Dynasty in China. 
His reign was marked by a shift in focus from Europe to Asia, signaling a new chapter in the Mongol Empire's story. The last great Khan to be mentioned is Kublai Khan, another of Genghis Khan's grandsons. Kublai Khan's reign was a golden age for the Mongol Empire. He completed the conquest of the Song Dynasty, ushering in the Yuan Dynasty in China. His rule was marked by a flourishing of arts and culture, as well as administrative reforms that strengthened the empire's infrastructure. Under Kublai Khan, the Mongol Empire expanded its horizons, reaching as far as Korea in the east and Russia in the west. This expansion was not just about territorial gains, it was about the exchange of ideas, culture and knowledge. The Mongols' nomadic lifestyle and military might were combined with a curiosity about the world, leading to an empire that was as culturally diverse as it was vast. The Mongol Empire reached its zenith under the rule of Kublai Khan, becoming the largest contiguous land empire in history. This period of Mongol history is a testament to the power of leadership, the strength of a united people, and the enduring legacy of Genghis Khan. The Mongols were not just conquerors but also skilled administrators. This may surprise some given their reputation for brutal warfare. Yet beneath the warlike exterior, the Mongols were pragmatic rulers, recognizing the need for administrative efficiency to maintain their vast empire. The Mongol Empire at its peak was the largest contiguous land empire in history. To effectively govern this colossal territory, it was divided into distinct regions known as Khanates. Each Khanate was led by a Khan, a member of the royal family who ruled semi-autonomously while still swearing allegiance to the Great Khan. This division of power was not just a pragmatic solution to the challenges of administering a vast empire, it also reflected the Mongols' nomadic roots where power was often shared among different clans. Yet despite this decentralization the Mongols maintained a strong central authority, with the Great Khan as the ultimate arbiter. In terms of law and governance the Mongols were surprisingly adaptive. They did not impose their own customs and traditions onto the conquered peoples. Instead they often adopted local systems of law and governance, allowing a degree of autonomy that helped to maintain peace and stability. This pragmatic approach was also evident in their promotion of trade and communication. The Mongols established the famed Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting the East and West. This not only boosted commerce but also facilitated the exchange of ideas, cultures and technologies. Moreover the Mongols implemented a system of communication known as the Yam, this was an intricate network of relay stations that allowed messages to be transmitted swiftly across the empire. This was crucial for maintaining control over the far-flung territories and for coordinating military campaigns. Thus, the Mongol Empire, forged by the sword, was also a nexus of commerce and culture. It was a complex blend of power and pragmatism, of conquest and coexistence, that allowed the Mongols to rule over a vast and diverse empire for more than a century. Like all empires, the Mongol Empire too faced its sunset. This was a time marked by a series of unfortunate events that eventually led to its downfall. One of the major factors was internal strife. The Mongol Empire, once unified under the iron fist of Genghis Khan, started to fragment after his death. Succession disputes and power struggles became common, and the unity that was the empire's strength began to crumble. The four Khanates originally established to maintain order and control, became independent entities, often warring against each other. This division weakened the overall power of the empire, and it began to lose its grip on the vast territories it once controlled. Another significant issue was overextension. The Mongol Empire at its peak, was the largest contiguous land empire in history, stretching from Eastern Europe to the Sea of Japan. But with such vast territories, came the challenge of administration and control. The empire was stretched too thin, struggling to maintain order and stability across these vast distances. Resistance from conquered peoples also played a crucial role in the decline of the empire. The Mongols, known for their military prowess and brutal tactics, had made numerous enemies. Revolts and rebellions were common, particularly in the regions of China and Persia. The Mongols found it increasingly difficult to quell these uprisings, and slowly, their hold over these territories began to weaken. Economic difficulties coupled with the devastating effects of the Black Death, further accelerated the decline. Trade routes once bustling with activity were disrupted, and the empire's economy took a severe hit. The Black Death, which swept across Eurasia in the mid-14th century, decimated the population and further destabilized the empire. Ultimately, these factors combined to bring about the downfall of the once mighty Mongol Empire. By the late 14th century, 
The empire that Genghis Khan had built, which had once struck fear into the hearts of its enemies and ruled over vast territories, had fragmented into a number of smaller khanates and states. By the late 14th century the once mighty Mongol Empire had fragmented into a number of smaller khanates and states. Though it fell, the Mongol Empire left a lasting impact on the world. It was a force that reshaped the landscapes of Asia and Europe, forever altering the course of history. Through the Mongols' extensive trade networks, ideas and technologies crossed boundaries, sparking innovation and cultural exchange in a way the world had never seen before. The Mongols, for all their fearsome reputation, were instrumental in the spread of knowledge. Paper-making technology, for instance, traveled from China to the Middle East and then Europe, leading to the proliferation of books and the eventual emergence of the Renaissance. The Mongols also facilitated the spread of medical knowledge, including the technique of inoculation against diseases. The Mongol Empire's influence extended to the geopolitical world as well. The Mongols, by connecting vast regions, facilitated the formation of the modern nation-state. The empire's administrative strategies influenced future empires including the Russian and Ottoman empires and then there's the Silk Road. Under the Mongols this ancient trade route experienced a golden age. Goods, ideas and people moved with unprecedented freedom, knitting together the East and West. This period of intense cross-cultural interaction left a profound imprint on global cuisine, fashion and art. Yet, the legacy of the Mongols is not just about the tangible changes they brought about. The Mongols with their swift horses and fearsome warriors have seeped into our collective imagination, shaping our understanding of steppe nomadism and empire building. They've become legends, their exploits and conquests spun into tales that continue to captivate us. And of course there's the enduring myth of the Mongols' brutality. While there's no denying that their conquests were often marked by violence, this narrative overshadows their more constructive contributions. But perhaps, this is the fate of all great empires. To be remembered for their might and power, rather than their role as agents of change. In the annals of history, the Mongol Empire stands as a testament to the power of unity, ambition, and the indomitable spirit of humanity. The Mongols may have vanished, but their legacy continues to shape our world in ways both seen and unseen. The Mongol Empire, a tale of power, conquest and legacy, spans over centuries and continents. Our journey began in the vast, unforgiving steppes of Central Asia, where the Mongol Empire had its humble beginnings. It was here, amid the harsh winds and boundless plains, that a confederation of nomadic tribes united under a singular vision of conquest and expansion. This unity, born out of necessity and survival, marked the dawn of what would become the largest contiguous land empire in world history. From these modest origins we followed the life and leadership of Genghis Khan, the man who would guide the Mongol Empire to its zenith. His military genius and relentless pursuit of expansion transformed a loose confederation of tribes into an unstoppable force of nature. Under his rule the empire grew exponentially, swallowing up kingdoms and civilizations like a ravenous beast. After the death of Genghis Khan, we traced the reigns of his successors. These rulers maintained the trajectory of expansion set by their predecessor, each contributing to the empire's growth and influence. Their innovative administration and rule, while often ruthless, brought about an era of relative peace and prosperity known as the Pax Mongolica. Yet, even the mightiest of empires cannot withstand the test of time indefinitely. We witnessed the decline and eventual fall of the Mongol Empire, a process accelerated by internal conflicts, power struggles, and the enormous logistical challenges of maintaining such a sprawling territory. The once mighty empire which had seemed invincible at its height, crumbled into a collection of fragmented khanates. In spite of its fall, the Mongol Empire left an indelible mark on the tapestry of world history. Its legacy, both inspiring and terrifying, reverberates through the ages. From the Silk Road's resurgence under Mongol protection leading to unprecedented cultural and economic exchange, to the brutal warfare and conquest tactics that brought empires to their knees, the Mongols' impact was profound and far-reaching. The Mongol Empire, for all its power and terror, serves as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of earthly dominions. It embodies the cyclical nature of history, where empires rise, reach their zenith and eventually succumb to decline and fall. Yet even in their downfall they leave behind traces that shape the course of human civilization. 
Thus ends our journey through the rise and fall of the Mongol Empire, a saga that forever changed the landscape of our world.